Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. Today I'm gonna give you my top 10 Overland gift ideas for Father's Day 2022. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I've got tons of overlanding content just for you. All right, this is gonna be a really, really good list. I've comprised 10 with maybe a bonus in there of my favorite overland gifts for your Father's Day 2022. This is gonna range anywhere from 350 bucks all the way down to $22. And we're starting with the most expensive. So this is gonna be the most expensive pick, but the one that I'm very, very excited about. This is the Otzi Flame Flat Pack Grill. Now this thing packs down and fits in this tiny little case right here. It is steel, so it's got some weight to it. This thing weighs about 17 pounds, but this is super, super cool. I really like cooking on it. Everything about this thing is just really super functional super easy to put in my truck, forget about until I need it. You can use either charcoal or timber uh, to heat your food and to cook it. You can cook hot dogs, hamburgers. It's basically a grill, you can cook anything. The really cool thing about this is these flat skewers, you can actually cook hot dogs or sausage, anything around, and it will actually stay where you want it to be. It won't, uh, it won't roll to the heavier side. So the price point on this Otzi Flame is $349.99. And this thing can cook for four to six people range. They make smaller options too. I'll put the link for this in the description below. Be sure to check that out. They have multiple options, anywhere from smaller backpack style to the larger family style, which is this one here. So check that out for all the different availabilities of the flat pack grills that they offer. Next on the list is gonna be the geyser system. And the geyser system is a super efficient way to shower, wash dishes. You can actually hold 0.8 gallons of water and I have showered and washed a couple dishes with one container of water. This thing is super efficient. The system here is a water container and it also has a pump inside which pumps the water out to this sponge here. I also had, this is the heated version, but the non-heated version is just as good. You just add hot water to the system and it works great. The geyser system retails for $259.95 is made right here in the USA in Colorado. Next up on our list, coming in at $249, is going to be the Demos Delta Shovel. And this thing is badass. I never thought in a million years I would spend 250 bucks on a shovel, but here it is. This thing is such a well-engineered piece of equipment. It completely justifies the cost. If you just hold it in hand, you'll understand where the expense is when it comes to the stability, the structure, the craftsmanship, it is a one-stop shop when it comes to shovel. You'll never need another one again. The beauty of this shovel is how it goes from this small size here. You pull this pin here, the blade flips out. Hit this pin here, hit this pin here, and now you have a full-length shovel. It went from that compact size to a full-length shovel, and this will dig you out of any situation you get yourself into. And again, the Demos Delta Shovel comes in at $249 and is made in the USA. Next up is a mod that's on my truck that is one of those mods that I've done that I have just forgotten how inconvenient it is not to have it. And that's gonna be the Snail Armor Flat Tailgate Panel. And that thing is by far the most utilized piece of equipment I use off the back of my truck. Every time I'm working on my truck, I'm cooking out of my truck, I use that thing and it works amazing. It is by far one of the best upgrades I've ever done to my truck. Hands down, of all the things I've done, I still will say it's the one of the best ones I've ever done. And the Snail Armor Ultimate Flat Tailgate Panel comes in at $200 and again, made in the USA. Next up in my Father's Day gift ideas is gonna be the Ignic Fire Can. This is the portable fire pit. And this thing is really cool. It's generally a 50 cal ammo box that's been converted into a fire pit. It comes off the ground, and this is one of the only ones you can actually burn during a fire ban. During a fire ban, you're not allowed to burn anything organic. You have to burn something that you can immediately extinguish, which would be propane, some kind of gas fire pit, which is what this is here. Now this thing is pretty cool. It uh, 
Uh, one, the color's awesome. I love the orange top and the orange accents. It really just makes it kind of stand out. It does come with a propane bottle hose connection. You basically pop the lid here. The lid comes up like this, pops all the way off. You don't want to leave the lid on because there's obviously a rubber gasket. You don't want to destroy that with the heat. And then fire comes out of this. You light it through a hole in the side here. It is raised up off the ground, so you're not going to burn anything from contacting a brush or whatever from the underside here. And it's just a very small contained fire. You can cook on it, use it for heat, just ambiance. It's very, very cool. And coming in at $199.99, the Ignic Fire Can. Next on the list is going to be the Devos Light Ranger. And this is an area light that is very, very high tech. This thing comes in $155, but right now it's on sale for $139 for Father's Day. So be sure to take advantage of that deal. And again, a link in the description below for that page to get that deal. Now this is 1200 lumens of light that is on a stand that has both a, a three uh, tripod base and also a stake built into it all in one package. It comes with a bag that this whole thing uh, goes into. It's USB chargeable and it goes from 1200 lumens all the way down to 20% of that. So what is that, 300 lumens? You turn the light on, all four directions turn on 1200 lumens fully. Hit it again, now you have two lights. So now you have 600 lumens, hit it one more time, and now you have one light on. So in essence, it's an area light, but it's also directional. So you can aim the light where you want it and you can not have it or you don't need it. When it's on, press and hold. And I know it's gonna be hard to tell on camera, but it dims all the way down to being barely able to be seen and then goes right back up again. Very, very cool. Lots of functionality with this light, especially with the stand. It also ranges from 39 inches all the way up to 104 inches. It gives you that light really nice up high for camp, you work on your truck, any kind of tasks you need where you need a light overhead or even at uh, waist height. This is your tool. And again, this is the Devos Light Ranger at $139 on sale right now. Next on my list is this guy right here. This is the Adventure Medical Kits Sportsman's 300, and this comes in at $78.99. And this thing is worth its weight in gold. I have only owned this for maybe six months, but I've probably broken into it a half dozen times because I'm a little klutzy and I spend quite a bit of time in the outback, which obviously will lead to small injuries, cuts, bumps, bruises, things that band-aids, you know, pulling out slivers, and this thing has it all. I've done a full review of most of the items that I'm showing you, so check the link in the descriptions below for anything if you want more details or what the purpose of it, what's inside of it, a more uh, descriptive explanation of what everything is and what it does. Check that below. I will put all the links to all those videos down there. But this thing is one of those must-haves. Every adventurer, whether, even, not even overlanders, even if you're just an outdoorsman, this should be in your kit. This could very well save your life. The Sportsman 300 can treat anything from cuts, bumps, bruises, headaches, allergies, you know, as far as bees, you know, those kinds of things, all the way down to, it's got a trauma kit, broken bones, severe bleeds, you know, any injuries that you might have that are able to be treated in the outback outside of surgical care, this is probably gonna cover 90% of that. And again, this is the Adventure Medical Kit Sportsman 300 coming in at $78.99. Next on my list is for all you outdoor chefs out there, and it's gonna be this Cuisinel 12 inch cast iron skillet. This also comes with a lid, which was really a requirement for me. I needed a lid for some of the meals that I make, and it also comes with this, um, I don't even know, a rubberized, not burn yourself handle cover, which is really convenient. So again, you don't burn yourself. Although this is heavy enough where it's kind of a two hand lift, but uh, if you really want to, you can still lift it with this. It's just not very easy, especially with any kind of liquid in here. Now this cast iron skillet is really just a do it all pan skillet. You can do burgers, hot dogs, eggs, bacon. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. Yes, I use the Aussie for a lot of more cuisine type meals and that's my go-to for if I'm camping for more than one day or if I'm gonna be there for all three meals. However, this is my go-to for everything else. I throw this on my Camp Chef Everest and I can pretty much make any meal in this one pan, which is exactly what I was looking for and it totally fits the bill. And this Cuisinel 12 inch cast iron skillet with lid comes in at $39.99. 
Next on the list, coming in at $23.49 for a pack of 10 is gonna be Wildland Coffee. And this is coffee in a tea bag. Super convenient, super fast, delicious. This thing, I just found out about this right before Overland Expo West. I met the owner, Zach, and this dude is such a good company. I mean, he runs this whole thing um, out of his garage. It is just a fantastic idea. I love the packaging. The coffee is amazing. If you haven't tried it, be sure to. This thing will blow your mind at how good coffee can be. All you need is eight ounces of hot water in eight minutes to let it soak, and you will come out with delicious coffee that I personally can drink without creamer. And that's odd for me. I usually like it really light and sweet, but this is delicious without anything else added to it. And Wildland Coffee comes in a light, a medium, and a dark roast. So pick your favorite, a 10 pack, $23.49, can't go wrong. Coming in at $21.99, this is the GoPro Magnetic Base. And this thing by far has exceeded my expectations. And I use this thing on every single overland trip that I go on. Everyone's got GoPros and everyone likes getting epic video. With this magnetic base, it totally will change your game on how you get film. You can place this anywhere on your vehicle and it sticks, will not bounce off. I actually forgot this was on there and left it under my truck for an entire trip, expecting it to be gone when I checked on it the next day and it was still there. These are a super strong magnet that has a rubber coating so it's paint safe, although you don't, you wanna make sure it's super clean when you put it on your paint. I usually carry little wet wipes that I wipe down the paint and this before I attach them together just to be sure I don't need unnecessary scratches just because I'm being lazy. But these things are solid, they will not come off. This thing comes in at $21.99. That was number 10, but I do have a bonus. I got this for Christmas and it's been in my pocket ever since. This is the Leatherman Signal and it comes in at $129.95. And this thing is, I personally think it is the best Leatherman out there. It's a combination of it's super lightweight, super rugged, very functional. It's got a clip, I clip it onto my backpack, onto my belt when I go rock climbing, I clip this onto my harness. It's just very functional. It also has a fire starter, um, a flint and steel. It, it's one of those tools that you not really know that you need until you have one. And then you're like, what did I do without this thing before? Because this thing is just that cool. Real quick breakdown of the tool itself. It opens up into obviously pliers where it has a wire cutter. It's got a wrench section where you can kind of grab onto things. On this side, you've got a screwdriver, a bottle opener, and an awl. On this side, it opens up to a flint and steel. Again, you have the clip here, the clips onto things. You've got a pummel so you can uh, strike and hammer. And then you have a knife and a saw. This thing is just a really, really functional tool that I really enjoyed getting for Christmas. And I'm sure your dad out there would really enjoy getting something just like this. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that list of my top 10 plus a bonus best gifts for Father's Day for your Overlander. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to help us the channel grow and check out all of the links in the description below for all of these awesome tools. And I'll see you guys next time.